Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is find the difference between the compound interest and simple interest on sum of rupees four thousand eight hundred for two years at five percent per annum uh, payable yearly. So this is the question to solve this. So first we will find out the simple interest. So if for SI, the principal will be equals to given five thousand eight hundred rupees. Sorry, four thousand eight hundred. Rate of interest it is given five percent per annum. And time is equal to two years already given. So therefore, we can write the SI is equal to. So the formula for a simple interest is PRT by hundred or principal into rate into time by hundred. So it becomes four four thousand eight hundred into five into one by hundred. So cut the zeros. So it remains forty eight into five, which will be equal to rupees five eight zero forty. Carry of four, twenty-four. So therefore, this is a simple interest. So now I have to find out the compound interest for compound interest. We write. So for compound interest, also this uh, value will be same. That is four thousand eight hundred. Rate is equal to five percent per annum. Time is equal to two years. So therefore, compound interest will be equal to. Therefore, that CI is equal to formula is bracket principal into One plus rate by hundred to the power n, where n is the time bracket close minus again the principal. So this will become the compound interest. So you put the values. Principal is our four thousand eight hundred into rate that is one plus five by hundred to the power n that is two years. Now bracket close minus again principal that is four eight zero zero. See here only cut five and a hundred. It become twenty one by twenty. So now it become four eight zero zero bracket into. So now this uh, portion in between the rough. So it become one plus one by twenty. So one plus one by twenty for that we can take twenty as the LCM twenty into one that is twenty plus one. So it become twenty one by twenty. So therefore this twenty one by twenty it will be written two times as it is given to the power two. So it becomes twenty one by twenty into twenty one by twenty. So bracket close minus four eight zero zero. So cut the zeros first. So cut now. It becomes twenty four. So get to the. It becomes twelve. So it becomes twelve into twenty one into twenty one by sorry no by minus four eight zero zero. So first, it will do it this in the rough. Twenty one into twenty one. So one one is one, one two is two. Now two one is two, two two is four. So it becomes one four four. It's four hundred forty one into twelve. So into twelve we into it. So twelve one is twelve, one carry. Twelve four is forty, forty nine four carry. Now four four twelve four is forty eight. Now fifty two four carry. So it becomes fifty five thousand two hundred ninety two. Five thousand two hundred ninety-two minus four thousand eight hundred. So it becomes rupees four hundred ninety-two. So therefore, this is the uh, compound interest. So therefore, you can write the compound interest minus simple interest. That is given the question. It will be because the compound interest is our four thousand four hundred ninety-two minus the simple interest, which is which is two hundred forty. So this will not become two hundred forty. I made a mistake in the simple interest. So here I write only to one. It will be two. So now I again into two. So here also into two. So it will become four hundred eighty. So therefore this is the simple interest. So I put the value here also simple interest. Sorry guys for the mistake. So again it will become rupees. Now four hundred ninety two minus four hundred eighty. It becomes rupees twelve. So therefore, this is our final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution.